Let's solve an IMO problem which is from the first IMO in 1959 and this is also the first problem to be featured in the exam. So the problem states that we want to prove that the fraction 21n plus 4 over 14n plus 3 is irreducible for every natural number n. Or in other words, 21n plus 4 and 14n plus 3 does not share a factor. So in this video, I will present three different solutions that you can solve this problem. So in the first solution, it utilizes the Euclidean algorithm. So you recall that the Euclidean algorithm enables us to compute the GCD of two integers a and b, and the GCD of a and b is equal to the GCD of a minus b and b. So now, if you want to prove that this fraction is irreducible, we want to show that the GCD of 21n plus 4 and 14n plus 3 is equal to 1 because this means that both of them does not share any integer factor greater than 1. So using the Euclidean algorithm, we can see that the GCD of these two numbers, I will subtract this by 14n plus 3. So this is equal to the GCD 7n plus 1 and 14n plus 3. And then now, we can now subtract the second number by 2 times by 7n plus 1. So therefore, we will have d is equal to the GCD of 7n plus 1. And now, the red part is 14n plus 2. So we will just left with 1. And the GCD of any number and 1 is just 1. So therefore, this shows that the fraction is irreducible. And we are done. So now let's look at the second solution. So for the second solution, we will use proof by contradiction, where we first assume for the sake of contradiction that this fraction is reducible. So now we shall note that if a certain fraction A or B is reducible, then obviously 2 times by A over 3 times by B is also reducible. Since 2 and 3 are co-prime integers, so in this case, this implies that 2 times by 21n plus 4 over 3 times by 14n plus 3 is reducible. But then multiplying out this thing, you get D is equal to 42n plus 8 and 42n plus 9, which will get that this is reducible. However, we now have a problem here, which is 42n plus 8, 42n plus 9 is consecutive. And moreover, they don't share any factor other than the factor 1. So in this case, this fraction should be irreducible, right? Which is impossible, and therefore this leads to a contradiction. So this means that our assumption at the beginning is actually false. So this proves that the fraction that we have at first is irreducible. And so we are done for this second solution. Now let's look at the third solution. For the third solution, we also use a proof by contradiction where we will assume for the sake of contradiction that this thing is reducible. So now to derive a contradiction, we shall let p to be a factor of the numerator, which means that let p such that 21n plus 4 is congruent to 0 modulo p. And so this means that 42n plus 8 which will multiply the numerator by 2, is also congruent to 0 modulo p. So therefore, we should also get that 14n plus 3 is also congruent to 0 mod p. But then this means if you multiply this by 3, you get 42n plus 9 is congruent to 0 mod p. But then from these two congruencies here, if we subtract both of them, this leads to a contradiction which is 0 is congruent to 1 mod p. And this is obviously a contradiction. So therefore, this means that 
the fraction here must be irreducible. And so we are done for the third solution.